Hey, this is Mike. I'm at Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And ever since I started doing videos here, I've always wanted to do a video on this particular vehicle. It's a 2015 Yukon Denali. And this one is crazy with the amount of features. It's like the, the engineer said, okay, what can, what can we just get away with in the, the realm of possibility? And let's just do that. That's what it seems like in this vehicle. Um, I mean, the comfort, the styling, the performance, everything about this vehicle is just crazy awesome. Um, if you were to travel across the United States pulling a camper or something like that, definitely look at this vehicle. Um, it has you know, very good towing capabilities, very good comfort. It, it has a third row seat where you can fit lots of people in here and the, the seats are foldable and well, anyways let me just go ahead and show it to you it does have a completely boxed in frame like a heavy duty truck to where this is a extremely solid vehicle it's not a uh, your typical uh, like crossover SUV it's a it's a full-size SUV with a boxed frame super solid and this one is rolling on 22 inch 22 inch aluminum wheels and it has a really sharp looking five-star design there I mean, you've got the, the, the shiny black paint with the uh, the aluminum polished aluminum there showing through it does have the the rotors that are corrosion resistant rotors now I don't know if you notice most rotors they get corrosion on them within I mean no time at all uh, after stopping the vehicle and not driving it like just overnight you walk out and you see your rotors are all rusty But these are corrosion resistant. Um, they w they might still corrode, but they are you know, they last longer when they're corrosion resistant So you can see it has four-wheel disc brakes Hopefully my camera angles are doing this vehicle justice because it is really sharp. Let's take a look here in the front end. It does have the projector headlight system with HIDs, high intensity discharge headlights uh, powering those uh, projectors. It does have the fog lights. You do have parking sensors here in the front and the back. You see the little round circles there, those are the parking sensors. Let's see if I can get a little bit of a higher view because I want you to, to see the stance and the grill and everything the way I see it. It does have an LED accent around uh, here and I would love to be able to show you this vehicle at night. I'd love to actually see it at night, so uh, it would be pretty cool. All right, so before we go any further, let's go ahead and start up that 6.2 6 liter engine. And here's the, the key fob. That's all there is, there's no key, it's just a fob. It is a proximity key. So, um, so just make sure it's locked by pushing the lock button and then immediately push and hold the remote start button. And it starts up and this one has the ability to just have the key in your pocket and lock and unlock the doors uh, just by pushing this button here and so now I can push that button it unlocks the doors I can go ahead in um, also it has a feature where you can relock them but you can also once the you exit the vehicle the keys exited the vehicle in your pocket and all the doors are shut it will automatically lock if you forget to lock it so I think that's a pretty cool feature, especially if you're on vacation and you got a lot of valuables in the vehicle. All right, so here on the inside, it is a like a dual color. Uh, it's like a like a gray and brown with some wood grain, is the way it looks like to me. And you can see it has lots of little uh, storage areas there and down here for bottles and stuff. Uh, it does have a tin speaker. Bose premium sound system for everybody to jam out while they're cruising on the highway. 
let me just show you the window sticker before I get too much further because there is tons of features on here um, that, that I want to make sure you at least see uh, what's on this vehicle. It does have an 8-speed transmission. 6.2 liter V8 Ecotec 3 with an 8-speed transmission. That's a lot of gears. That's a lot of gear ratios to choose from when you're cruising. You see you've got the Denali threshold badge there. The power seat, of course. This is a heated and cooled perforated leather seat here on the on the front two drive the driver and the passenger in the front shotgun aka shotgun you have the handle here and I don't know if you noticed um, the power running board is deployed when I open the door I'm going to show you that again so they will disappear uh, after a second get out of your way and they are pretty much silent so you didn't hear them so when you open up the door they're right there for you now that's a feature that you can turn off if you want to um, but you know default is on all right so let's check out the glove compartment kind of small not nothing you know spectacular there but it's uh, you, it's it's helped out with other storage areas so like say in here you've got a place to put some papers or a file folder or something like that on, that on the side right here of the console and of course you get all the storage there on the door as well and some other storage areas I'll show you it's kind of neat all right so let's move on back here here's the inside of the this this the back doors and as you can see it does have a little bit smaller door it does have the pockets though and um, the stitching the softness to the touch same quality and every, quality and everything as the front um, but you do have the cup holder here which is something you don't have in the front you do have uh, air conditioning or uh, climate control vents here in the back of the front seats for, for the rear passengers and these seats second row these bucket seats are they can fold down they can also tumble up to where the third row passenger passengers can go behind the seat or the third row passengers can walk through here and go through the center so there's some options there I'll show you that in a few minutes these are heated seats here in the back there's the controls for the heated seats uh, you also have your temperature controls and power supply on this side 12 volts you also have a 115 volt 150 watt Edison plug for plugging in things like a laptop or a cell phone uh, low drain devices to charge and stuff like that um, now you're probably wondering what all this stuff's about this is all um, corresponds to your rear entertainment system so let me go ahead and get in the vehicle to show you that so back here we have uh, the ability to watch movies and it is a, a, a widescreen uh, view it's not turned on now because none of the screens are turned on because I have remote start running but um, and also I don't have any Thing to play but anyways uh, there's an SD card input there's a USB there's also the AV inputs there as well plus you have a um, an auxiliary input there for audio I think only and you can play you know of course a, um, a DVD through the system and it'll play through there as well so you got a nice widescreen 16 by 9 uh, aspect ratio screen for everybody in the back to enjoy while they're driving and you got lights up there as well. All right, continuing on. Let's see what this angle looks like. So here in the back, you notice it does have the parking sensors there on the bumper, those little round circles. Uh, you also have, I think, pretty sure, this cover is covering up a um, a towing package that's cleverly uh, hidden behind here. So that way, um, you use it when you need it, type thing. And it's in the, when you're not using it, it's covered up and looks good. You do have a spare tire under there as well. 
All right, so your backup camera lens is right here. So that way you've got, um, it is a wide, wide angle lens, which I'll show you. So back here. Okay, so here on the key, we've got the ability to open up the tailgate, which is the big part, or the glass. Um, so basically, you can push this button, double tap it, it opens up the entire tailgate. Now there is the uh, switch on the inside to make it to where it doesn't raise all the way. It'll raise up to a certain point, and that way in case you have a low uh, ceiling or something, it will um, it'll stop if, you know, before at a certain distance so it doesn't go all the way up, uh, like a three quarters of the way up. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, show you something else before I go too much further. Now, if you just want to open up the glass, you can still do that. So double tap that and you notice it pops open. You still have to take your hand and lift it up, but you can do it with one finger, like literally uh, no problem. So that way you can, you know, quickly access things back here. Now, one of the things I um, would say about this is that you can actually load this up with stuff. Since it is a small area here, you can load this up with stuff and uh, kind of pack it to where if you actually opened up the tailgate it would like fall out <laughs> so if you're on a trip or something and you really need to you know utilize all the space you can fill this up really good and then that way you can just access it by opening up the glass and then you can take your stuff out before you have to actually open up the tailgate all right so let's close this down snap it in place and you can also of course open it up you know with your hand there you just push the button it opens up as well so you don't actually have to take the key out all right so here's the back and like I said it is a little bit small with all the seats up uh, compared to some other vehicles um, but you do have some space under here for putting stuff that you, you know, want to keep out of sight or um, out of the way you got a power supply 12 volt here you got some tie downs back here on both sides your jack and stuff is in here now, here's some cool stuff here. <laughs> here's some cool stuff. You notice you've got the second row and then the third row. So let's just say you need to, um, uh, you got a box or something, you pick up something from Lowe's, there's nobody in the back third row seat. So basically, you can use these buttons here um, and you can push that and it will lower that down. Now, so now you got some extra room. Of course, you can lower the right side down too by pushing that. And it goes down so also let's say you got a box it's a little bit longer box it's not gonna fit you know this isn't enough room there's nobody in the second row seat you got the ability to lower that seat too and let's say it's even a wider box and you can lower that seat but okay so now you got plenty of room there to put just about anything in the back of this vehicle now let's just say that you know somebody wants to hop in the third row seat now um, so basically you can you can raise raise the seat all right so that's gonna raise up you got the third row seat up now but what about that seat that's in the way so let's go ahead and lift that out of the way and you can do all that by pushing these buttons right here standing right here you don't even have to go around to each door and and move seats around and all that stuff um, you do have you know it's a really cool cool feature I think uh, to where you can manipulate these to some degree these seats in the position that you want them to be in so I'm going to go ahead and lift up this third row here so we can look at the third row seat and I'm going to lower this down by pushing this button here which is the, another way of lowering it besides the key here's the fuel cap you can see you got the little plastic string here so you can hang it on that so it hangs down so it's not on your shiny paint and it is on the driver's side which I think is convenient all right so you got a mirror on the other side um, as far as the door and you can see you can climb in you got the step you've got this area here threshold and then there's the third row seat all right you got cup holders, you got little storage pockets back there, you got a power supply there, 12 volt. You also have some climate control vents there on the ceiling. And, um, and also you have the ability to use this button here 
to uh, lift up the seat in front of you. So you, you know, if you're time to get out, you push the button, it lifts it up out of your way. So you don't have to you don't have to mess with it. Same thing on the other side. Right there. Pretty cool. Now to lower this seat, you still have to uh, push it down. Now before I do, I just want to show you this is the anchor for your car seat um, for your uh, latch system. Just want to show you that's what that is. Don't try to hook it to anything else. Just push it down, lift this up, and you're good to go with the second row. Alright, so this has a blind spot detector uh, system. There's a little indicator there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, that little car with the little star thing next to it. So basically, if there's a car in your blind spot, uh, then it will let you know before you change lanes. That'll be illuminated, especially if you turn your turn signal on. It'll really get your attention with um, you know beeping and stuff like that and indicators there on the dash. Now, the um, it also that also has the ability to uh, warn you if you have a if you're backing out of a parking spot and then there's there's a cross traffic um, alert system as well. It's kind of tied in the same thing, and it uses a sensor system in the back of the vehicle. Uh, to sense things out that way from the back of the vehicle. Kind of is a supplement for your uh, your backup camera. So here's the inside of the driver's door and you can see it's basically the same as the other side except for it has more buttons. So you got your child uh, locks there for your, your back doors. You can also stop the back windows from being rolled down back there. Uh, you can control all the four windows here you can adjust your both uh, side mirrors, left and right. You just have to choose which one. This button here folds them in. So it's not going to do it with the vehicle turned off because the vehicle the vehicle turned off. So anyway, I'll show you that when we get it started back up. It only does, the remote start only runs so long. And then you got your door lock controls there. Now you got your presets for your seats, uh, one and two here for your power seat. And... Um, you also have an easy exit button there so the seat gets out of your way. Now right here we have a whole bunch of stuff. This is your um, this is your dimmer switch for your interior lighting. This is your headlight controls. Um, this is off. This is auto. Then you got your uh, right there is your parking lights and all the way here is your headlights. That's on. If you keep it on auto it'll kind of cycle on and off by itself. Uh, you know, depend on your needs. Also, this you push this in and your fog lights turn on. This is your four wheel drive control controls. Now, this is like a truck in that it has a very uh, capable four wheel drive. It's not like a all wheel drive system or anything like that. It does actually have. It has two wheel drive. It has a two wheel drive auto, four wheel drive high, and four wheel drive low. So that's your, um, you know, and that's the same thing you would see in, in like, say, a, a GMC Sierra or something like that. You also have a um, trailer brake gain control, to where you can adjust the trailer brakes if the, if so they are if your trailer has those um, to fine tune it to where it's not interfering um, or it's actually being effective compared to your vehicle here. This is for your HUD display to adjust that. I'll show you that in a minute. And then you've got a bunch of buttons here. Now, this is your traction control. You can turn that off if you wanted to. Parking sensors, you can turn those off if you want to. You can turn off the uh, the side steps, um, the retractable, retract, retractable, retractable side steps. You can turn those off. You can make it to where they don't even come out at all uh, by pushing that button there. Lane departure warning, default is on. You can turn that off. Now, right below, that's kind of all the off buttons. Uh, this button is for your pedals. You can adjust your um, your brake and your accelerator pedals by using that button right there, which uh, is very convenient. Especially, I mean, you can adjust the steering wheel. It does have the power adjusted tilt and telescoping um, steering wheel. You can adjust your seat. You can adjust your lumbar support. Um, but sometimes you get it all just right, and you're like, you know what? Pedals just don't. They're just a little bit too far away, too too close. You can adjust them. Um, and that's a very good safety feature because you really want to have a good firm 
uh, hold on those pedals, especially your brake pedal, um, when you're driving. You don't want your, you know, extent overextending your your foot to try to push on that brake pedal. You really want to have a uh, a good um, distance from, uh, you know, your leg distance from the actual pedal. So that, I think that's a good safety feature and convenience feature uh, to have adjustable pedals. Alrighty. So let me go ahead and hop in. The remote start has turned off. So that is, um, vehicle's not running now. Let me just uh, adjust my seat a little bit. Put it back so I'm already close enough to everything. <laughs> All right, let's listen to the side, how qu much quieter it is in here. Now GMC really spent extra spe special attention to try to get this vehicle soundproof as much as possible. This vehicle is in demonstration mode, connected by OnStar's high-speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. So this vehicle has acoustic glass windshield, acoustic glass uh, driver and passenger. And when I say acoustic glass, it is a, let me see if I can show you here. I don't know if you can notice, um, the glass is actually sandwiched together uh, with a, um, a noise dampening thing in between the glass. So it is a little bit thicker and uh, you know still completely clear, but it has that additional um, dampening of the sound waves before it enter enters the vehicle. It does have rain sensing windshield wipers. I mean, I can go on and on with this particular vehicle. All right, so let's check out the hand-stitched leather wrap steering wheel here. Has very good um, feel to it. Has a little bit of a give. It's not too um, too thick or too thin. Has a really, really good feel to it. And that's something important on a long trip. You don't want it, uh, your hands aching trying to hold the steering wheel. And it is a, a power-assisted uh, steering wheel system to where uh, when you're going at slow speeds counter to a hydraulic system um, like when you're going with a hydraulic system the slower the engine goes the less power it can produce to help you uh, turn the steering wheel and then the faster you go it gives you more power but it's actually the opposite of that is what you need you need the more power when you're going slow and and less power when you're driving at high speeds so the power assisted steering wheel system is uh, gives you that ability it adjusts gives you more ease of steering at low speeds and less while you're driving on the highway uh, so you can actually feel the road and also um, it doesn't really it's not, when the wheels are spinning really fast it's, it doesn't take any, almost no effort to turn them anyway and it saves you uh, you know as far as fuel economy all kind all kinds of stuff there <laughs> so um, okay so let's check out the left side this is your cruise control and it is a heated steering wheel. You can turn the you know, heated steering wheel on there and turn it off here. Now this button is for your, um, it's like a crash alert system. So you can adjust your, uh, let's see here, let me push it here. So it's gonna adjust, it has the ability to say, if there's a vehicle in front of you, I wish it'd step a little bit longer. If there's a vehicle in front of you, I'm going to just keep cycling through. Um, you see that vehicle you're seeing is actually a vehicle in front of you is what it's trying to represent. So basically, it's going to alert you if you get too close to a vehicle um, while you're driving. Now, if you, if you want to alert at a far distance, um, then you can have it that way. Or you can have it near, medium, far. Also, this is also your gap for your... Um, your uh, adaptive cruise control so like say if you're driving on the highway and you have the cruise set at 70 but yet you run up on somebody that's going 68 or 65 and you don't you know you can't pass them or whatever 
uh, it will adjust your speed to match their speed based on a, on a radar system or um, you know imaging system that it has it makes sure that you do not get any closer it keeps you at that set distance that we just saw um, and until they get out of your way or speed up or whatever and it'll if they slow down you'll slow down it keeps you from actually you know hitting them or having to constantly micromanage your speed on your uh, cruise control super easy feature to use you just turn it on and, and set your distance and and pretty much it does its own its own thing it is a very advanced system um, only available in you know the higher end vehicles and in, in the recent years so um and but i think it's a very good it is a very good um safety feature so that's that side now on the before i go to this side the back of the steering wheel actually has um you have a volume button on this side you can adjust the volume up and down see right there it's up and down it's like a um, up and down switch so I can adjust the volume of the radio I don't have anything playing but uh, you can maybe see on the screen here it going up and down uh, and also you can change to the stations or your presets or your CD tracks or your media tracks on the back here um, so that way you can you know you have the ability to, to you do a lot of stuff on your radio just by like, keeping your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road this side of the steering wheel speaking of hands on the wheel and eyes on the road it has a voice recognition system so pushing that will allow you to um, just say commands like say tune to a certain station go to a certain address call a certain person stuff like that or you can do just about anything you using voice commands um, and keeping your eyes on the road hands on the steering wheel awesome awesome safety feature I highly recommend uh, you having a vehicle with voice recognition system and using it as much as possible um, I know some people kind of feel a little funny talking to their car uh, but just get over it and do it because it's something that's uh, very handy and useful but also a big safety feature so and I know you'll enjoy it once you start doing it it's just a matter of uh, you know do it and then you can of course you can hang up on people there that's how you hang up your phone when you're in the middle of a call right here is um, some arrows and a check mark that corresponds with the menu system here in the center of the gauges now you can see it has actual physical gauges uh, for your rpms and your speed rpms on the left speedometer on the right and but in the center those top gauges are actually um, digital gauges that are represented uh, they representing an actual gauge but they are digitally uh, imaged there um, on a digital screen and um, so so right now uh, I think it's a TFT screen and so right now it's showing you um, you know your different gauges there your your fuel and all that stuff but also right there in the center you see a big zero and that's telling us our speed which we're going zero miles per hour um, I can change that I'm gonna push the down arrow you see it has arrows top and bottom it also has a left arrow uh, cluing you in which uh, you know directions you can actually push so I'm gonna push down so I got my trip a trip B and your fuel range um, oh, sorry yeah fuel range and um, it also has the ability to change from V8 to a four-cylinder you know we'll go into that later it is a, um, a multi-displacement engine uh, uh, multi-displacement system there's one telling you when to change your oil there's your tire pressure on each tire so um, it, it all also all this stuff will alert you if it's out of range and it scrolls back to your miles per hour now I'm going to go to the left just to show you that this is part of a larger menu system so there's your info um, you can go into your audio see what your radio is doing which right now it's doing nothing phone same thing there's no phone paired um, but it will give you information there once you pair your phone uh, navigation let's see what that looks like this gives you like a little mini map and it gives you clues on to uh, what your um, what your your navigation is doing so like say if you're doing a turn by turn thing and you're going to a specific address you don't have to constantly look over to the right and look at the screen it'll kind of give you a, a, you know kind of a, your your next step here on this screen which is pretty cool and of course you can go into a lot of settings and change the different uh, gauges there at the top and, and different information so I'm gonna go back to the info and uh, it goes back to the 
the speedometer, which is pretty much the default there. And, um, so, you know, I think you get a general idea of what that's all about. Now, this one does have, let me turn the fan down slightly. This one does have the column shifter for the 8-speed transmission. Now, let me go ahead and put it in reverse by pulling that down. So now, the seat just vibrated, letting me know, uh, using the parking sensors in the back, that there is something behind me. Not to be very careful backing up, basically, is what it's telling me. And um, you can see it's highlighting in yellow, so, you know, yellow is an alert. Red would be, like, almost emergency status. <laughs> but it does vibrate the seat to let you know, in addition to show you there on the screen. You also have the backup camera, which is giving me an alert in the center of the screen as well. Um, so I'm going to turn the steering wheel, and this is going to turn those lines there, and those lines give me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle when I back up. Um, there's, it's for two reasons. One is to tell me the direction I'm going. Another thing is to show me about approximately how wide the vehicle is going to be when I back up. Um, and you can see that, uh, you know, it's at a distance. So, like, say this is showing past where the, this actual vehicle is. Um, so that's, you know, you just keep that in mind. And you notice it is a wide-angle lens, so it's a little bit distorted looking, um, the image, but it gives you the ability to look at the bumper all the way to the sky and very far to the, you know, both directions there for the maximum amount of visibility um, so you can you know make sure you don't hit anything um, you can't see to the extreme left and right and that's where the um, the, the traffic the cross traffic um, alert system comes in but still you want to look around you want to use other mirrors um, but this is a really good way of not hitting backing up into things especially bicycles and things laying on the ground uh, you can see it instantly as soon as you look at the camera cool 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 all right so I'm gonna continue down now right here on, on the, the screen here, it says reverse, now I'm in neutral, now I'm in drive. Now that's just your normal drive position. You drive around, no problem. If you really need to adjust the shift points or really downshift when you're going downhill or something, there is the ability to go all the way down into manual. You see now it says M1, that's telling me that I'm in the first gear. I can push these buttons here and I can change the, the I can change gears if I need to. Um, it's only going to allow me to go cert too, so far out of range. It's not going to let me start off in eighth gear. Um, at least it shouldn't, because um, you know that's you know not productive for the engine or transmission or me. So, but you can basically change to the gears if you need to go to a slightly different gear ratio for like like I said, going down hills or um, or you know just adjusting your shift points. You also have a trailer tow mode here. You push this button here. Um, let's see if it can show. It's kind of showing the inside of the vehicle too dark. Okay, do you see that trailer right there? And then you push the end of the, the column shifter, and then that way you, it'll tells the vehicle to uh, not go into the extreme gears and also hold the shift points. Um, it just tell, telling the vehicle know that you're at you have added some weight to the the back of the vehicle basically and it needs to accommodate for that. Windshield all your windshield wipers, your turn signal, and all that stuff is here, and um, your four-way flashes are here on the top of the column. So back to the screen here. Um, this is a an eight-inch touchscreen, and so basically right now. Um, I'm just going to push this button, the home button, so we can go back to the default screen here because it was in a setting. So, so this is your default screen, is similar to a computer in that it has icons that you can push for different particular things you want to go into. And that does show the outside temperature, pretty warm. Uh, you see the time there, and you could go, you know, to another screen here where it shows the OnStar. OnStar is kind of a spillover screen for any additional um, icons that you may have. Uh, your audio, which is your your radio, your phone. Um, I'll just show you each one here. There's your radio. Let me turn the volume down. And um, so let me push the home screen. And you see what that looks like. So now the the phone. Once you pair a phone, you'll have your contacts. You have recent calls, keypad to push on. Um, you can listen to voicemail, all that cool stuff. You can do you know your voice. Um, 
commands like call people that kind of stuff navigation uh, you can look at the map see where you're going you can zoom in and out uh, to get your bearings you can also put in a specific destination and it'll take you right there you can also change it to where it's more of a uh, up and uh, straight down map if you want it to um, and your settings are here for your time and all that stuff as a valet mode where you can lock out uh, certain features that that um, so the valet driver doesn't mess with your vehicle too much Pandora once you have your cell phone paired with the Bluetooth system and you have Pan, Pan, uh, Pandora installed on it you can play music through the uh, Pandora system which is like an internet radio uh, onto the vehicle weather this is where you can find all kinds of cool information it shows you a weather map and it shows you some some clouds around here that are headed my way and um, and also you've got your your 36 hour you also have a um, hourly 36 hour and a daily forecast and uh, look at that thunderstorms at 6 p.m. gotta watch out for that look at I guess that clouds gonna come down here and rain on me or something but look how nasty that picture looks <laughs> Anyways, that's the, the the weather there. Video, this is how you control your um, your DVD system in the back and also your rear media. You can see a picture of iPod and stuff like that. And you can actually text. Uh, I don't have much experience with the voice to text um, system, so um, what, from what I understand is that there's certain commands you can say and it'll you, it'll pop up with certain commands and you can say one or two or three or whatever one you choose to reply back to certain uh, people texting you um, I don't think it's all-inclusive um, like listen you know transcribe every word you say I may be wrong but that's my understanding all right so that gives you an idea of the screen and how do you, you know how the features that it has or, you know it's a little bit more involved I'm just trying to go th quickly so you can see what it has and um, check this out. Let's just say you wanted to uh, keep have like a place to put stuff where you didn't nobody knew where it was or you know out of the way or something secret. Well, this has a secret place, and it's right there in front of you. There's a secret place in this vehicle, and the secret place. And I'm going to put my phone in it in just a second. There's my phone. Oh yes, check it out. Right there. Secret compartment. That's pretty good size too, and you notice it has a USB plug in there as well. It's got a USB plug, so you can actually I can actually charge my phone or whatever device I put in there, or I can, you know, put stacks of gold or whatever um, in there and it's kind of like a little mini secret safe. Um, so I think that is just awesome and it's utilizing some space behind the the touch screen that would normally just be wasted so you know it's really 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 good idea it is a it has like a felt lining on the inside there so um, awesome idea let me see if I can get a better shot with the night vision here yeah you see how it's all padded on the inside awesome Anyways, I was very excited when I found out about that feature, and because um, uh, it's just I don't know James Bond or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's pretty, it's pretty cool. All right, so right below the touchscreen, you got your volume control, tune through the stations, and eject your CD, which is right it goes right in that place there. There's your CD place. Media. Um, this is actually if you were to have a play music through your Bluetooth system or play music through a U, uh, USB SD card or auxiliary input stuff like that and I'll show you where all those are um, that's what that buttons for so down here this is your climate control and it is a tri zone climate control you've got the driver you got the passenger on the right and uh, you also have the rear so the driver and the passenger can you can sync those you can sync everything actually and um, so basically that syncs all the, the front, back, everything's going to be controlled uh, using this knob here. So you move that knob, everything is the same, you know, 61, 61, 61. So now 
you know the driver is in control of everything now that's handy if you have kids in the back and you know they 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 don't they they don't you don't want to mess in with the climate control and all that stuff so you can just set the temperature for everybody and you know everybody's happy but if if you got some picky people and like I'm cold I'm hot and everybody's fighting and everything you can adjust it um, back to um, you know individually just by turning this knob here and then so now it is um, you know that's a separate temperature on that side the rear um, so basically the rear climate uh, you can turn it on and off here and you can adjust the fan speed like so where you want the air to blow and the actual temperature right here and you can lock out the rear right there if you want to and I mentioned before this is a heated and cooled seat I'm sitting in I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the AC uh, seat right underneath me it also has that same has that same feature on the passenger side so the passenger can have heated and cooled seats as well um, you do have the uh, the same pocket on the other side on this side um, where you can put a book or papers or anything like that on on the side of the console it's really handy when you get out to get your mail or get some paper you got walking out of the bank or whatever and you got file folders and papers in your hand you can just stuff it right in there it's completely out of the way and it won't it's not going to wrinkle your uh, papers or anything it's made for that kind of stuff in here is not only um, the connectivity places so let's say you've got the you've got the USB plugs for playing you know stuff in there you can also charge with them you also have your uh, power supply 12 volt there but also this is a really cool place to put a cell phone I mean it's just perfect spot to put a cell phone I mean, that's you know love it absolutely love it you know so you can mine's a little bit big but look at there you can have two of them my size right there and you can plug them in and charge them and awesome so you always got a place for a cell phone and you always have to have a place for a bottle of water you can't drive without a bottle of water so there's your place to put your bottle of water or coffee or whatever you want to put in there you have bottle water bottle holders in the door for bottles and then you can put your coffee here so you got both now this is something really cool if you have a cell phone that is equipped with wireless charging you put that cell phone right there and it starts charging you don't have to plug it in this is a wireless charger right here and you notice you know of course you don't want to have a bunch of junk in the way it says you just have the phone laying right there and you can see the little battery here and it will charge it I don't know how it works maybe you can explain it to me but I don't know how electricity electrons or whatever can um, can re get into the phone but somehow it charges the phone so that's a really interesting futuristic technology so this is this uh, console here is a big armrest besides the charger here um, the Star Trek charger or whatever you want to call it and this opens up and then this is where you got some more connectivity options this is where your SD card USB two more S USBs and your auxiliary input are located plus you have a some place to put more stuff business cards or whatever 12 volt power supply there and somebody has already started cluttering up the junk place um, so that's what it's for to put your junk out of the way alrighty let's check out the rear view mirror now the rear view mirror has the OnStar button it also has a, a emergency button there and a, an assistance button there on the left and this is an auto dim rear view mirror so if somebody's behind you with high, high beams on and they're blinding you um, it's not going to happen because this little light sensor is going to dim their, their, uh, this mirror to where it's not reflecting all of the light in your face really good safety feature and you know keep you from getting road rage sometimes alright so um, just want to mention that this wireless charger here is not going to shock you you can touch it you can put your arm on it it's there's no um, it's completely safe so I just want to mention that because um, I got my arm on it right now it's no problem all right so you got this lights here a little LED light there and here like a reading light and uh, this is your garage door controls here and remember I was talking about before about your tailgate you can actually make it you know three quarters maximum or off so right now it's on maximum you can change it to three quarters or off off would be like 
you push the button. I mean, you have to manually lift up the tailgate, so just make sure you, uh, you're aware of that. So uh, I'm going to keep it on max because I think that's the most useful for most people. And um, so right here is for your interior lights. You can turn them all on. You can have them all off, or you can have them on when the door opens, which is right there in the center. Place to put your sunglasses is right here, but you also, if you lift it up and drop it right there, is a conversation mirror. So you can keep an eye on all the backseat drivers. You can talk to people, um, see if they're, um, you know, Johnny is hitting Sally like she says he is and all that stuff. These two buttons is for your sunroof. And yes, it does have them. I know it's got the shade cover. It completely blocks all of the, um, all the light. So when you open it up, all of a sudden you're like, hey, there's a sunroof there. So let's go ahead and tilt it so you can see what that looks like. And then you can slide it back. And then you can close it like so. And then you can close it up with the shade just like that. So pretty cool. Um, and just another feature this thing has right here is uh, is your microphone so when you're talking to somebody the microphone picks it right up because it's right there right above you and this is your um, your mirror and it has lights on the visor so let's check this out they slowly turn on and that pretty cool so I didn't just all of a sudden blast your face with um, with light same thing on the passenger side all right it's so one thing i would add more secret compartments more just you know like make it a um like a like a haunted house type vehicle to where there's all these secret compartments you know wave your hand in front of something and you know you got a secret compartment opens up i think that would be cool but everything else um, that's my only suggestion so far <laughs> with this vehicle all right, so let's take a look of a more of a zoom out here so you can see the big bigger picture. And I like the styling here um, with the stitching and everything that is just super classy and then the wood grain. Let's take a look back here. Alrighty. Okay, so are you ready to look at that engine? I am. It's a 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8. You notice all of a sudden it got loud, all this noise out here. It was nice and quiet in there. So, let's go around here and let's just do that number and lift up a few inches and it goes up the rest of the way. Pretty much a lot of plastic that you can see. Oh, wait a minute. You get to see engine on this side. That's awesome. Yeah. I like to see engine stuff when I lift it up, not plastic. Metal. But, anyways, that's just me. That's just my preference. You may be different. And hey, you, you know, check the oil change the oil when you need to uh, GMC's are, are very reliable vehicles so you don't have to worry about popping the hood very much um, but yeah stunning vehicle lots of features and there's probably some features that I that I forgot to go over so if there is let me know in the comments I really appreciate it also um, if you can like this video subscribe to my channel share it with friends if you don't mind send me a few bucks in the um, in support uh, support my channel I'd really appreciate it helps me um, you know pay for all the the traveling to different dealerships I'm trying to uh, increase the frequency and the quality of my videos as much as possible um, and it is a it is a uh, it is an adventure so so I really appreciate your support and uh, and everything and thank you Hyatt Buick GMC in Myrtle Beach for allowing me to spend time showing you this vehicle because um, it is an absolutely awesome 
breathtaking vehicle when you actually get into all the things that it has and, and the comfort and you know it's it's better than you know most people's living room you know so <laughs> so anyways thank you for watching i really appreciate your time i know time your time is valuable so see you next time